say you're in the market for a new controller for PC or Xbox. You could just go down to the store and buy a basic one. Or for a few dollars more, you could create your own that's unique to you. That seems like the obvious choice. Microsoft has finally updated their design lab with Xbox Series X and S controllers, so you can finally personalize your very own custom controller. And of course, these also work on Xbox One and PC. So I went ahead and got really carried away and uh, spent a lot of money because I was excited. Also, so you can see what the experience is like and judge whether or not it's worth it for you. The normal retail price for an Xbox Series X controller is $60. And if you want a special color with that, it's normally $5 more, but I see them pretty much for $60 all across the board. If you want a custom designed one, like the Space Jam one, those are $70. The Xbox Design Lab controllers are also $70. And that $70 lets you do whatever you want in the Design Lab except get an engraving, which is an additional $10. The website is very straightforward and you can just try for yourself to see what a dream controller would look like. And it's a lot of fun. You just go to xboxdesignlab.xbox.com, scroll down, look longingly at the picture of Kevin Kenson. And click design yours to go into the designer. You have all these body colors, which I'm pretty sure are mostly different than what was available on the Xbox One. All these colors are available for body, back, bumpers, triggers, D-pad, and thumbsticks. Your options on the face buttons are limited, but they do have an option for the classic Xbox 360 style buttons. You have even less options for the menu and share buttons. And you cannot change the Xbox button at all because that is clear and the light underneath it is always gonna be white. And for an additional $10, you can get a laser engraving that doesn't really look like an engraving. It feels more like it's printed on. With all this, you can make some great looking stuff, but you can also make some truly horrifying stuff. So with great power comes great something, something. So after you design and purchase your own, it'll take about a full four weeks to receive yours, which I think is a reasonable amount of time because they have to put it all together custom for you. So. Four weeks ago, I designed three of my own because I couldn't decide which ones I wanted, okay? I got two for me and one for Will. The first one I made was an homage to my favorite Xbox 360 controller that I used to use all the time, the pink one. The thumbsticks and the menu buttons were a little challenging to match. They either looked too bright or too dark. It's not the same gray, that's annoying. But I think the final result ended up pretty fantastic. Then I made a Wolf Den one. Our branding is mostly black and white, but I threw a splash of teal for those chromatic aberration effects we have sometimes. Then Will just wanted a cool red one with a black back that's slightly different than the red one that they sell, which has a white back. He also got the hashtag Will was right engraving. And I'm very happy with how they came out. I think they all came out pretty fantastic. Couple of notes though. Uh, I like the box that they come in and everything, but for whatever reason, mine came with some weird, like, white dust all over them. It's fine. I just sprayed it off. But it was a weird thing to have to even do. Also, these do not come with a USB-C cable, which would have been nice if you plan on using these with PC. These are probably the best controllers you can buy for PC because most things just work natively with them right out of the box. Also, these controllers still don't come with rechargeable batteries. They have some sort of deal with Duracell, so they come with regular old throwaway batteries. You can purchase a charge kit still. They should learn a thing or two from 8-Bit Do and just include a rechargeable battery in the controller. So essentially, these controllers come with nothing but batteries. Now, 
your custom colored controller wouldn't be complete without a custom colored stand. And for $13, you can get your own stand that matches the same color as the face of your controller. However, these haven't been updated yet for the Xbox Series colors. So make sure you're not getting a slightly different color by accident. Luckily, the pink is the same. I was also disappointed to find out that these aren't charging stands. They're just regular stands. And I've got a bone to pick with these charge stands. For example, my Wolf Den controller has a black front, so I would want a black charge stand, but the back is white. So I would need a white back plate and these charge stands come with back plates and the black one would come with a black charge plate. This would be a great option for the design lab. Let us choose whatever charge stand color we want and whatever colored back plate we want. But these stands are by a different company called Controller Gear that's licensed by Microsoft. So I guess it would be on them to create their own sort of custom creation system. They do have a few charge stands on their website. I think what's gonna have to happen is Will will have to buy the red one because it comes with the white back plate and we'll have to do a little swap. Also, in the event you have one of these charge stands from the Xbox One days, you'll still need to buy a new backplate. The backplates are slightly different between Xbox One and Series X. Also, I'm still very disappointed that Elite controllers aren't an option here. That would have been a lot of money, but I would have paid a hefty premium in order to have a truly premium custom experience. Besides all that, if you need another Xbox controller or just want one that's a little more fun than that boring black or white one that yours came with, I think this is the best option. It's not much more money, if anything at all, compared to the other controller colors, and the shipping is free if you're worried about that. Yo. With the three controllers, plus the pink charge stand and tax, it all came out to $264.50, which is a lot of money for a bunch of controllers, and I'm only ever probably gonna use one of them. And there's no sponsor on this video, so uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like it and hope to share it with a friend, please. So what do you guys think about the Xbox Design Lab? Is this something that interests you? Do you wanna give it a shot? Even if you don't have one of the new Xboxes, I think it's a great option for a custom controller for your PC. Leave in the comments below, add me on Twitter, any and all this other social media garbage. I always get nervous when I do a video like this when a company releases something that I actually like and I talk about how much I like it. I feel like people might see seem like this is an ad, especially because there's no sponsor. I bought all of these. I just like Xbox controllers. I definitely don't need five of them. Anyway, we got new videos here all the time, at least once a week. We got Twitch streams over on twitch.tv slash Wolfden. We also have our live podcast there. And we got Wolfden Clips and Wolfden Podcast YouTube channels if you want some more content. But the most important thing you can do to help support us is just subscribe, please. This video has to do good. <laughs> and share this video with a friend, a friend who maybe would be interested in creating their own thing. Even just for funsies on their website. Thank you very much. Have yourself a good week.